and Flash Gordon. Yes, sir, Chief, we'll do our best. <clears throat> Gentlemen, the Chief thanks you for coming. I suppose you're all wondering why you were summoned. Well, our country is in big trouble. All of the great comics whom you are about to see on the screen have mysteriously disappeared. Popeye and Olive Oil, Tiger, Blondie and Dagwood, High and Lois, Little Iodine, the Catch and Jummer family, and the inimitable Inspector. Quincy, Beetle Bailey and Sarge, Maggie and Jake, The Little King, Stuffy Smith and Louisie and others. With these comics gone, the American people will soon have nothing to laugh at, except us politicians. So you see, it's a matter of the highest national importance that we find these comics quickly. The future of the entire American political system depends on it. He's the man who made it. Morbid Grimsby, with the help of my evil computer, will completely eliminate laughter from the world. Think of it, Brutus. A world without anybody laughing. Isn't that beautiful? Gee, Professor, that's great. I mean, no laughter. You know, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, nobody ever laughing. <laughs> that's a good one, Professor. <laughs> and too, Brutus, you know I can't stand laughter, especially from my hired help. See this, Brutus. They are my most prized possessions, my meanies. Every year, one is awarded to the meanest man in the world, and I've won six years in a row. When my plan to stop laughter succeeds, I'll be the only seven-time winner in history. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. May I have the envelope, please? The winner is Professor Morbid Grimsby. Thank you. Thank you, my enemies. I want to thank everyone who made this moment possible. My mother, my father, who first taught me to be mean. All the hundreds of little people. I'm so happy. Brutus, when that time comes, I'll be the meanest man of all time. You deserve it, Professor. You're the meanest, rottenest skunk in the whole world. Flattery will get you nowhere. Prepare to spot the evil computer. Ready? Seven, six, five, four. Uh, how do I do that? You push the button. Three, two, one. You push the button! Not that button thing, Beth. This one. Computer, computer on the wall. How can laughter be stopped once and for all? Ah, that is easy. The comics are responsible for a great deal of laughter. The first step is to stop the comics. And how do I do that, you despicable pile of nuts and bolts? You invite the comics to spend their vacations aboard your yacht. Then you bring them here to the secret island where they become your permanent guests. Brilliant idea! Glad I thought of it. As long as they're my prisoners, nobody can laugh at them. Oh, can I be skipper? No, Brutus, they'd be suspicious. I'll make Popeye the skipper. Popeye? Of course, and since he'll be my prisoner, I won't have to pay him. You see, Brutus, I'm not only mean, I'm cheap. Oh, how can you say that, Professor? You pay me a whole nickel a month, and I get every other Sunday off. That's true. I must be getting soft in my old age. We're wasting time. We must get to work. Turn on my Grimsby spy in the sky satellite. Uh, how do I do that? You push the button! And just for forgetting that, I'm canceling your next Sunday off! Your next two Sundays off! Shh! Need an adjustment on the fine tuning, please. Avast there, you swabs! If you doesn't surrender, I will annihilate you! Popeye, you've got a special delivery letter! A special delivery letter, huh? Uh, read it to me, sweetie. I doesn't want it to get all wet. It says, Dear Popeye, the yawn hilarious has put a tip from important people on a pleasure cruise in the South Sea. 
because of your great experience and seamanship, I would like you to be the skipper of the SS Hilarious. So I'm the president. Ha! The president, indeed. Blow me down. I guess to call Olive Oil and tell her the good news. Miss Olive Oil speaking. To whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? Olive, I got a surprise for you. Oh, it's you, Popeye. The president himself has asked me to be the skipper of a yacht full of important people. We're going on a pleasure cruise to the South Seas, and you're invited to come along as me, twice you know, guest. What do you say, Olive? I'm ready, Popeye. Well, shiver me timbers. How do I look, Popeye? I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that might exterminate me. The man in the store said this bathing suit made me look like Liz Taylor. Who's Taylor? <laughs> Not funny. Greetings, Popeye. Oh, hey, Whitby, I'm gonna be the skipper of a yacht, and I want you to be me voice mate, second mate, and one-man crew. Pack your sea bag. Aye, aye, skipper. Hey, what are you doing in the kitchen? I'm packing the sea bags for the first mate, second mate, and crew, as you ordered, sir. Next, the Bumsteads. Hmm, a special delivery letter for Bumstead. This time, I won't get zonked by Bumstead when he runs out. I'll outwit him and deliver it to the back door. We're ready for you, Dagwood. I'm late, Blondie. I'm going to take a shortcut through the backyard. I have a special delivery letter for you, Bumstead. Gee, thanks. Say, how did you know I was coming out the back door? Blondie, we want a free all-expenses-paid vacation, a cruise to the South Seas. What a wonderful way for the children to spend their summer vacation. Hi, Dagwood. Hi, hi. 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 Now, now, wait a minute. See what I got? Lois and I want a free all-expense-paid vacation cruise. Hey, that's the same thing we want. A free vacation. That'll be the first to into debt with an expensive vacation. You know how they dress on those cruises. You girls didn't forget anything, did you? I guess they didn't. And now, Private Beetle Bailey. Ah, here's my fortune cookie. I hope it says I'm gonna meet a tall redhead. Hmm. Private Beetle Bailey, you are to report to Skipper Popeye aboard the SS Hilarious for a highly secret mission. Dispose of this message in the proper way. Sign, General Half-Track. Uh, Sarge, how do you dispose of a secret message? Uh, yeah, sure, Beetle. Uh, let's see. I think you're supposed to stuff it into an egg roll, and then I think you're supposed to bury it under a load of sweet and sour pork, and then some chicken chow mein, and lobster wasu cup, and egg foo young, and roast pork lo mein, and then some ugu gai pan, and egg drop soup, and chicken chow mein, and some green pepper steak, and shrimp and lobster sauce, and then some curry chicken, and on top of that, a little roast pork cow, and some sweet and sour fish, and maybe almond cookies, uh, pardon me, and chicken dumplings, and wonton soup, and lobster with fish sauce, and a little bit of more moo gai pan, and beef sub gum with beef sprouts, and top it over some barbecue spare ribs, and shrimp lo fung, and the little fried rice. Uh, somehow I don't think this is right. Uh, Lieutenant Flap, sir, what's the proper way to dispose of a secret message? You're supposed to eat it, Bailey. I've been hacked. My diabolical scheme is working. Soon I will have tricked all the comics into coming aboard my yacht. That is correct. The plan is working. How about them apples? Ha, 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 ha. Fool machine, you know I can't stand laughter. Welcome to your board, the SS Hilarious. Step lively now. Wow, an integrated boat ride. Both boys and girls. Woo! Ahoy, haul up the extra special cargo. Hey, you see what I see, Tiger? Well, I thought this was going to be a pleasure cruise. This is going to be such a lovely cruise, Jeeves. Yes, dear. It's so nice that you agreed to travel light.
Sarge. Come on board until the ship sails. They're probably having a bon voyage party. Does that mean food? Come on, Otto. Ciao. <laughs> oh, the sea air stimulates the old appetite. Kindly pass the ketchup. But we haven't even left the dock yet. Ahoy, voice mate. Ready for an app. Let's get underway. How do we get underway? You pushes the button, you ninny. <laughs> Not that button, you dingbat. <laughs> I think I forgot something. Oh, yes. All ashore. That's going ashore. Sarge, you better leave now. Okay, Beetle. Have a good trip. How am I going to get ashore? There is no shore. Don't worry, Sarge. Have a fortune cookie. Maybe your secret orders are inside. It says I'm going on a long trip. I wonder how many guests are enjoying themselves. What a nice vacation. Such a lovely setting to do the laundry in. I wonder where you dumped the wash for. There is a special place, Mama. Ah, yeah. Complete with official sign. Ah, this ship has every convenience. Very relaxing, Captain, to listen to the sounds of the ocean, but I think I take a walk around the deck. I will not lose my temper. I will not lose my temper. I will spink them without losing my temper. So, I said to her, some people just don't watch where they're going. Oh, sorry, Your Highness. I think I'll take a dip in the pool. How about you, Beetle? Sure. Wow, too cold for me. I uh, changed my mind, Sarge. That's the trouble with you, Beetle. No stamina, no guts. Now take me. I'm tough. I can take it. I'm steeled against adversity. I welcome the hard knocks of life. Nothing's too tough for me. Nothing's too hard for me. Where others quit because the going is getting hard, that's where I just get tougher. Remember, Beetle, no matter how difficult or tough or hard the going gets, it's never too hard for me. <laughs> Ah, I can't stand hot water. <laughs> hmm, now that one is what I call well done. Shad, two dolphin, and one sergeant. Dinner is served. What in fun did you bring Spark Pug along for, more? Couldn't leave him home alone, Pa, and I couldn't find no horse setter. <laughs> well, we best tie him up to this here hitching post and go on ahead and eat. Our master chef has prepared a gourmet dinner for this voice night meal. Uh, just what is for dinner, Wimpy? The most noble gourmet dinner of them all. One pheasant and a glass burger, one corned beef and cabbage burger, a daggled special burger, three orders of Wiener Schnitzel burger, one low calorie burger, one spinach burger, one dog food burger, and one harmony grits burger. That burned tasty. I'd better go check our spark plug.
Captain Crunch. Uh oh, that's a snag tooth smelly gaster. He sure looks mean. I better show him we're friendly. Here's Snally Goster, some good old Cap'n Crunch cereal. A sweet, crisp, and delicious part of a nutritious breakfast. There now, don't you just love Cap'n Crunch? I meant the cereal, actually. Cap'n Crunch cereal, from Quaker. And now the evening's entertainment. Miss Olive Oil, the singing siren, accompanied by an instrumental group consisting of Quinsky, Sweet Pea, and Little Iodine. Okay, kids. Hey, Bart Plug Ace, the musical instrument. Well, the show must go on. Come on, Spark Plug. Hit it. A one and a two and a three and a four. to make it even better. Gives me skip up up by his telescope. So, good shot. You is Olympic material, Hans. prisoners here soon enough. Aha! What do I mean, aha? Brutus, press the button for the electromagnetic beam. I will now capture the comics. I will... Not that button, idiot! No, no, no! I will press the button myself. now sending out a powerful magnetic beam that will find the SS Galerius and draw it into my sinister trap. Hmm, most unusual. The ship appears to be steering itself, thus leaving both hands free for more important matters. Wow, blow me down. Where is we? This is Professor Morbid Grimsby speaking. Your pleasure cruise is over, my friends. You will all be my permanent guests here on the secret island forever and ever and ever and ever! Gee, I only told the mailman to stop the mail for two weeks. Quiet! Disembark at once! I have set the ship to self-destruct in five minutes! There won't even be time to empty out the refrigerator. I have to save me spinach. You gotta save my vacation clothes. But Olive! Popeye! Winning. Hurry, Popeye! You still have time to rescue the spinach! I will, Sweepy! Look, Popeye! The ship! <laughs> At least the spinach didn't self-destruct! <laughs> It might as well have, Sweepy. It's gone to Davy Jones' his locker. Let's see them laugh about that. Let's flip on the electronic scanner and make sure they weren't followed. What's this? I'll get them with my illusion projector. Aha! There I go with that aha again. Well, this is the area where the ship was last reported. There's an island down there. Strange. There's no island shown on this map. Let's take a closer look, see. If I can find a level spot, we'll put this bird down and investigate. Hmm. 
and the flames didn't really exist. They were illusions that were somehow projected up here to frighten us off. Something's gone wrong with the blasted illusion projector. Naughty, naughty, that's a no, no. Bah, Brutus, get them with the electromagnetic beam. Push the button, and this time, don't press the light switch. Whatever you do, you idiot, don't press the light switch. Oh, oh wait. Not that one, it's this yellow one here. I got it now, Professor. All right, all right. Lights, smoke, okay. But I refuse to let myself get doused with water. I'm just going to turn the time reversal dial and do the whole thing over again. There. Earth up for fun, there I go. Hey, no voice, it is no answer. Yes, boy, yes, Now we'll do it again. Bah! Brutus, get them with the electromagnetic beam. Push the button, and this time, don't press the light switch! Whatever you do, you idiot, don't press the light switch! Okay, okay. Now, one little change. Oh, wait, it's not that one. It's this yellow one here. I got it now, Professor. This is no illusion. Better radio for help. This is Steve Canyon calling Flash Gordon. Steve Canyon calling Flash Gordon. Come in, Flash. Urgent. Flash, we're picking up a distress signal from Steve Canyon. Does he give his location? The message stopped. I think I can pinpoint his location by using the automatic direction finder. Ha ha ha, Captain Crunch! This is one cargo of Jean Lafourt Cinnamon Crunch that nobody will get. Don Lafourt, Cinnamon Crunch is sweet and tasty with a zippy flavor like cinnamon toast. It's a good part of a balanced breakfast. Too bad. In just ten seconds. Or was it five seconds? It was five seconds. Lafourt Cinnamon Crunch. How can such a bad guy have such a good cereal? I didn't mean to. We're approaching target. I'll splash down in the landing module. You keep the ship in an orbit pattern. Be careful, Flash. If I need help, I'll contact you by solar radio. There's an island over there. I better check it out. If I swim over, there'll be less chance of being seen. Well, here comes the welcome wagon. Ooh, that's smarts. No use slugging it out with him. There must be another way up to the castle. Another one. I think I'll sit this one out. Drat! He zapped my robot destructor tanks! The solar radio! 
No way of contacting Dale now. Solar radio, automatic direction finder. Mr. Big Shot Spaceman, Schmaceman, I'll fix him good. What the? Watch, they got you too. Yeah, so far the rescue team is batting zero for four. You know, I'm sure the comics are on this island somewhere. Little do the fools realize how close they are. If we could just get a message out of here, maybe someone would rescue us. Hey, I got an idea. If we put a message in Snuffy Smith's jug and make a slingshot out of jig suspenders, I bet we could launch that jug into the sea through that window. Great! It's gonna work! Ain't that smart of them kids, Paul? Launching a message in your jug? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Smart. In my jug. Mom, my jug! <coughs> Let go of my jug! We just wanted to get a message out, Mr. Smith. Let go of my jug! Okay! <coughs> of fire. Oh, my poor Snuffy, I'll never see the poor deer again. He was such a good, honest soul, so kind and thoughtful and decent. Dag Nabbit, what in thunder you mean running off like that and leaving me in Jugate here? You know damn good for nothing. We've got to find a way out. Look, that rock, it's moving. It's the Phantom and Tim Tyler. How did you get here? I received a signal from Dale, and remember, there's an ancient subterranean tunnel that leads to this island. Good news. We can use that tunnel to get off the island once we find the comics. Now the bad news. The island is a dormant volcano, and it might erupt again. Whoever captured the comics and brought them here may not know that. We've got to hurry. See, we switch on the news, Brutus, and see what world reaction to this is. I'll complain to the landlord about this. Wait a minute! I'm the landlord! I'll have to think about that. Good evening. This is Howard K. Sturdley in Washington. The nation is still reeling with shock at the news that the world's great comics have disappeared. As you know, they were last reported aboard a yacht somewhere in the South Seas. Now, we're fortunate to have a split-screen interview here somewhere in the South Seas. Now, we're fortunate to have a split-screen interview here set up with General Winfield Windtunnel III, who is at this moment in Pongo Pongo in the South Seas, directing Operation Laugh Line. General Windtunnel, how's it going? Uh, some, something seems to be wrong with our sound transmission, folks. Oh, maybe I can lip-read the General's remarks to you. Uh, he says, the Chief has assembled the greatest rescue team in history. Flash Gordon, Steve Canyon, Mandrake, Lothar, and the Phantom. Gee, that sounds great. Where is the rescue team now, General Wintunnel? He says, the rescue team has disappeared. <laughs> That's pretty doping when your when your rescue team disappears. <laughs> General, we're on we're on national TV. You'll have to watch what you're saying. <clears throat> and in conclusion, General Windtunnel says this is the kind of crisis that tests the fiber of our national purpose. But he is confident the American way of life will emerge triumphant. And he has assigned me to three weeks of KP. Hear that, Brutus? It's working! It's working! My scheme is working! Now we'll take a look at our guests and let them have a look at us. Just set up this TV monitor. But first, uh, does my hair look okay? Ah, you handsome devil, you. <clears throat> okay, your attention, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings! I am Professor Morbid Grimsby, and I want to welcome you here as my permanent guest. Hey, what's a big idea holding us prisoners? 
very simple. I hate laughter. You comic characters are responsible for a great deal of laughter. I hold you here on the secret island, and thus I stamp out laughter. Why, that's the meanest, nastiest, lowest, most despicable trick I ever heard of. Oh, why, thank you, Mrs. Flagston. You shouldn't hate laughter, Professor. What's wrong with being miserable? Oh, Professor, if you just let us, we'll prove to you that it's better to laugh than to feel miserable. Oh, yeah? How? Uh, uh, we'll put on a comedy show, and then you'll have to laugh, and you'll see how nice it feels. You're going to make me laugh? Don't make me laugh. I mean, impossible. If we make you laugh, will you let us go? All right, Miss Smarty Pants Olive Oil, it's a deal. But if you don't make me laugh, you have to stay here on the secret island twice as long. How long is twice as long as forever, Professor? Well, let's see. Mm, 34, mm, if I call my seven and eight. Mm. I hope she hasn't got us into deep water with your bed, Olive. It'll not be easy to make the professor laugh. Well, let's see. Does anyone have any show business experience? I was in a school play once and I stopped the show. How? Oh, my suspenders broke. <laughs> it's no use, Lothar. We can't budge these rocks. Another explosion? It's what I was afraid of. Another earth tremor. There's been a shift in the underground fault. The volcano's been reactivated and the whole island may erupt at any moment. We've got to save those guys fast. Wait a minute. We're in an underground cave, right? But the air down here is perfectly fresh. I read you, Steve. The way the air gets in is the way we could get out. Look up there. It's our only way out of here. First, we'll have to get that grill off. This should do the job. Now one of us has to get up there and pull up the others. I've got an idea. We can improvise a catapult. Ready, Lothar? Ready. Another trap. We'll never make it. Ha! That's right, Mr. Wise Guy Man Drake. You'll never make it. Big shot magician. Now let's see those fools try to make me laugh. Ahoy, folks. We have a really big shoe for you tonight. Our first act will be Daisy the Wonder Dog. All right, Daisy. Give me your paw. Now roll over and play dead. Now, Beg! And now, the result of many hours of difficult training, another dog act, Sarge and Otto. Gee, I hope they practice those stunts. Ah, please! Wait, I hear laughter. This way. Watch it. Back, devil. Are you all right? I think so. Let's go. We haven't got much time left. The sound seems to be coming from this direction. Now what? Molten lava. Extravaganza, our very own group, the guaranteed giggle geckers, iodine, Quinsky, doing the comic strip rag. The comic strip rag? What's that? Nobody told us nothing about singing a song. Oh dear, we well, will just have to get out on the stage and sing something. But what? What can we sing? Just make up the words. Sing anything and do a little dance. It's always nice. My name is Isaac. I'm, I'm feeling so fine. I'm doing the comic strip rag. Your next Quincy. What? 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 Don't worry.
worry. Spark Plug will accompany you. My name is Clancy. I'm not a Clancy. La, 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 la. Boy, anyway, what's a Clancy? When we do the comic strip, wow. Bah, they'll never make me laugh. What they're making me is hungry. I'm going to go get something to eat. Listen to that. We must be getting close. What about this lava, guys? Any ideas about how we can get across this baby? How about this rope? If I could just grab that rock. Right on, Tim. You missed your calling, Tim. You should have been a rodeo cowboy. Phantom, watch out! close. I better tell the professor. Wait, I got an idea. I could scare those guys and show the professor I ain't so dumb. Ha! Huh? Make way, Varnet. Sir Brutus is here. Come on, we've got to hurry. Look, up there. What's that? A knight in armor. Look at that! Back, Canaes! Beware, thou varlets! Ye may cringe with fear! The mightiest knight in all the land, Sir Brutus, is here! Looks like an evil knight. This is a job for an old friend of mine. I summon Prince Valiant. Greetings, Mandrake. Val, we need your help. Glad to oblige, Mandrake. Prince Valiant, huh? I'll show the Knave. I'll grind him up into nursery rhymes. I'll chop him into Mother Goose books. I'll... Prince Valiant? Oh, uh, 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 greetings, Your Highness. Uh, your Valiants? Uh, uh, oh, oh, pardon me, sir. Uh, you'll excuse me, but I have a previous engagement. Thanks, Val. Glad I could help. In two weeks on the Saturday Superstar Movie. Follow him. Maybe he'll lead us to the comics. Oh, Dagwood, everyone's putting on such a nice show, and the professor hasn't even smiled. It makes me sad. It doesn't make me anything. I'm so hungry. Joe, I guess you make a sandwich for you, Mr. Bumstead. A Dagwood sandwich? In that case, we'll need help. Hans, switch, let's go! One of these rooms must be the kitchen. I'm sure the professor won't mind. Fritz, you man the salami and the ham and the chicken, and Hans, you handle the tomatoes and the lettuce and the fish and the sauerkraut and the cream cheese. And let's see now, I dine, you take care of the veal and the cheese and the mushrooms and the peppers and the onions and the pickles. <gasps> And I'll do the mustard. Hmm. Everyone ready? Check. 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 Good grief. Okay, now let's go. Okay, Hans. Throw the other slice of bread up. Good grief. Wait a minute. I already said that. My gosh, that's better. Does it have everything? Almost. Hand me another slice of tomato and a piece of lettuce. Thanks. Fresh vegetables are very important. The sandwich. Oh, me. You did it, Quincy. Sandwich. Listen to that. Smart guy kids wrecking my kitchen. I'll show them. I'll scare them out of their pants. I'll give them the most ferocious, most horrible scare of their lives. Run, 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 run
to laugh. I love everyone now. <laughs> Professor, the volcano under this island is going to erupt any minute. Is there any way to get off? Yes, of course. I have a submarine waiting at my secret dock. Follow me. Right down here. Watch your step, Miss Oyle. Oh, thank you, Mr. Canyon. You're so strong and manly and cute. I mean, anyone could tell from looking at us we were meant for each other. <laughs> You'd make a great babysitter, Devil. Great balls of fire, Mark! Brutus, I'm ashamed of you. Me next! This'll help me keep some eye on you, Brutus, till the women and children is boarded. Step lively now. We're ready to start, mateys. Brutus pushes the button. Ha <laughs> ha! Not that button, dear Brutus. Better step on the gas, Professor. That volcano's sure to go off any minute now. What the? We're wedged in. We're too close to the volcano. The shock will destroy the sub. If I only had me spinach! Popeye, look! Blow me down! Hit me spinach! Professor, how can I get out of here? Through the torpedo tube, dear Popeye. Fire one. It, it's working. We're free. Thanks to Popeye. Oh, dear. Poor Popeye. Don't worry. Look through here. Ahoy down there. Popeye! What do you mean by scaring us like that? He was the man who made his laughter. Oh, yeah, I would. Isn't it exciting? Having lunch with the chief, what do you suppose lunch will be? Well, I was hoping... Maybe it'll be a big sandwich, Mrs. What do you suppose lunch will be? Well, I was hoping... Maybe it'll be a big sandwich, Mrs. Bumstead. <laughs> do you want to be president when you grow up, Tiger? Sure. Or maybe something even more important. Like what? A shortstop? Greetings. The Chief is pleased you could all come as his guests. He sends his apologies for being delayed, but he'll be with you shortly. We understand. After all, the Chief is a busy man. I'll bet he's working on some important papers right now. Star movie.
education rock is brought to you by Nabisco. You'll find quality in our corner.